Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Alyssa and I am a wound care nurse in Ontario, Canada. Um, so I make lots of videos on different wound care products and how to's, um, how to use them, uh, when to use them. Um, so if you have not subscribed yet, please do so now um, and make sure you hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Um, but in this video, I am going going to show you um, and actually demonstrate how to use different types of wound cleansers from saline, chlorhexidine, iodine, uh, vinegar, uh, so please stay tuned. So here are your different wound cleansers. Uh, now I do just want to state that vinegar is not used as straight vinegar. It would be a 5 to 1 or a 10 to 1 ratio. So uh, one part vinegar to five parts water or one part vinegar to 10 parts water. Um, the other one, saline, you just use that uh, right out of the bottle. Uh, same with the povidone iodine. So soap and water is used on a fresh wound. So say somebody, uh, one of your clients or family members just cut their hand or got a skin tear on their hand you're gonna to wanna to clean it out with soap and water, okay? Make sure any debris, bacteria that got in there got out, um, you get it out. So you can use any gentle hand soap. So here I just have a gentle hand soap, or you can use a bar of soap. Um, it really doesn't matter. You just wanna clean it out with the lukewarm water and just some soap. Um, so you're gonna turn on the water, lukewarm, yeah. Get it wet some, and then you're just going to wash it. Okay, wash it really good. Get any of that grime out of there. When the hand looks like it's clean, there's no debris in there, you're all set. Okay, and you can just uh, dry it off with a towel. Um, or if you're, uh, you can use gauze, anything like that that you have, okay? So that's using soap and water. So in this slide, I'm gonna show you how to clean a wound with saline, okay? So you have your uh, sterile saline. So you are going to hold the, the hand or body part in a way that all the water runs off of the wound, um, okay? So along with any debris, bacteria, it'll all go with the water as long as you have it where it flows off of the wound. So you just go all over the wound using the whole bottle. I always use the whole bottle because you're really getting all the grime out of there and it's a really good flush for the wound. It gives it a really good wound base. Okay. So the next product, um, it is a product that I really use a lot actually, um, acetic acid. So that is pure white vinegar, okay? 5% white vinegar. Okay, and we use that in a one to five or a one to 10 ratio, the one uh, being vinegar. Okay, because vinegar, uh, straight vinegar would tend to sting a wound. So that's why we want to dilute it and we'll dilute it in our sterile saline. Okay, uh, you can also dilute it in sterile water, uh, doesn't matter. Um, so the containers that I buy of vinegar, I know this cap uh, holds about five mils in it because I have uh, used a syringe to figure that out. Um, so what I normally do is I will fill up this cap four times and put it, suck it up into a saline bottle. Okay, so I just squeeze the saline bottle, tip it, and suck it up. Because we, we start off with 100 mils um, in the saline bottle. They always come in, in 100 mils. And so we would want to put uh, 20 mils for our one to five ratio. We could also do uh, 10 mils. So we would, um, first you wanna squeeze out that air, suck it up. So right now we have a one to 10 ratio uh, for the purpose of this video, we'll just do that. So it's 10 mils and 100 
uh, mils of saline, or I could do the 20 mils of vinegar to 100 mils of saline. Um, depending on how uh, strong of a concentration you want to make here. So vinegar is great for if you have that green discharge. So this is effective against Pseudomonas, which gives off that green discharge. Um, so a client really doesn't need to go on antibiotics for that. You use vinegar and it clears it up within a few days. Um, so once again, you're just going to mix that up a little bit in there. So we don't have the vinegar sitting right on top and you're going to flush it just like you do saline. If they have any discomfort or say there's any pain, then you would want to dilute it more. So I always start off with a, a tent one um, just to make sure that it's, it's not hurting them. Okay, so then you just flush it and you're going to flush the whole bottle because we always want to use that whole bottle, get any guck grime out of there. Okay, and then you're going to let that sit for about 30 seconds to make sure it works, okay? We do not have to wash the vinegar off, the vinegar solution off, um, okay? So just um, we can dry off around the outside, but we don't, we don't need to tap this dry or flush it at all. Um, if there's no discomfort, there's, no dis there's not going to be any discomfort. Um, and once again, this is effective against Pseudomonas. So when you, anytime you see that green um, discharge, you want to use vinegar, the vinegar mixture. You can also use this on packing. So you would want to test a spot, make sure you have that really low concentration of vinegar in there. And you can also pack a wound um, with gauze that's covered in uh, the vinegar and water mixture. Um, and that'll, that'll help kill all that pseudomonas in there. Next, we have chlorhexidine. Um, for the purpose of this video, I do have a chlorhexidine stick here. Um, we also, it also comes in liquid form, which I uh, do not have, unfortunately, at this time. Um, but it would come almost like a povidone iodine um, solution, but it's uh, the chlorhexidine. Um, so for purposes of this video, I'm just going to use uh, the swab here. Um, so for a wound like this, um, it is good if we have if we think we have infection. So this is gram positive or gram negative. Chlorhexidine is good for, and it also has a low tissue toxicity. Um, so you would just go over the wound, not rubbing it, just gently putting it on the wound like that, and it'll grasp any um, bacteria or anything on there, and we'll, we'll get it onto the swab. But you would want to use your your saline. Always use your saline first to get any of the major debris out of there. Next, we have our povidone iodine. Now, the one thing I want to say with povidone iodine, um, it's a 10% solution. We want to be careful because um, it is great for gram positive and gram negative, um, anaerobes, fungi, and viruses. Um, it is great, but it is a pro uh, inflammatory. Okay, so um, it does actually, like, if there's inflammation here, we're going to have more inflammation and it's not going to help this wound heal because if there's inflammation, it's not going to allow a wound to heal. So you do want to be careful with that. So to actually clean a wound with povidone iodine, you're going to get your sterile gauze. You're going to open up your povidone iodine and pour some onto it. And then you're going to gently go over the wound, not rubbing it, just going over the wound, pushing it down and pulling it off. Thanks so much for watching, and if you have not done so, please subscribe below.